Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today I'm playing the daily challenge for April 30th, 2022. The character of the Ironclad and the modifier are specialized. Start with five copies of a single card. To light, you may ignore path when choose the next room to travel to. In deadly events, question mark rooms cannot contain elites, but are also more likely to contain treasure rooms. So I will have to maximize both elites and question mark rooms. That should be a lot of fun. I see Sita here with 1645, Warpal with 1589, and Steven 1548. Pretty good scores. I'm guessing high scores because of flight. Let's review the scores from yesterday. So, uh, yeah, first a big shout out to Chef on the Cloud, whose score didn't get recorded, who ended up with 1440 on the unrecorded score. He does have a screenshot uh, to prove, so uh, check out the comment on yesterday's video. And then, interestingly, he missed the overkill modifier. Uh, not overkill, uh, sorry, the um, curses modifier, although that was theoretically possible. So, 1565, uh, which would have landed him in 10th place, was theoretically possible. I do think this is the key, though, right? So, he was able to get a lot of collector bonuses he got um stuffed and um a bunch of collect uh yeah uh, sorry i meant modifiers but yeah he was able to get a bunch of collector bonuses so i i think that that would have been very difficult which is extra um annoying that he wasn't able to or his score didn't record but yeah again there was a screenshot um so yeah pelts end up with 1390 that's a pretty good score uh, i see cobalt here 1392 tied Gopal with 1363 a few other things so the big big thing was that people it seems like everybody who did well went for sneko um whereas i went for the curse key uh but uh, again cases like um uh, the example of Chef on the Cloud is that you can still go for curses, and it might have been, well, with the curse key, and it might have been theoretically possible, but very difficult to go for curses with the Snake Eye. Some people weren't able to do that. Um, and then, yeah, Turbo Andrew here with 1315, with, uh, yeah, and then the other thing is lots of people went for collector bonuses rather than the Highlander modifier, which might have been um, the right approach. I didn't see the Apparitions event, but enough people did, so that that is something to um, look out for. And then Flicknick came here with 1313 as well. Where did I end up at the end of the day? Let's quickly scan ahead to my score. Oof, oof, yeah, that's not that's not great. But yeah, I did miss two bosses and um, a lot of the other sort of uh, modifiers just miss, I missed as well. Um, Zolar ended up with 1171. That's uh, that's even even lower. Yeah, yeah, I think. And Steven with 1188. Yeah, Zolar here with 1171. So yeah, could have been better, but... Um, yeah, you know, a lot of other people did really well, so that's good. All right, let's move on to today's run. Specialized, Flight, and Deadly Events. Five copies of Flex. That might be a little rough on Act 1, uh, but it looks like I can hit all five elites. All right, perfecting them all will be a challenge, but let's get there first. Okay, well, let's double Flex and double Strike. Come. I to think I, I haven't I rarely use flex so I'm not 100% sure what synergies I should use obviously limit break but then I'll lose popper right so let's see what cards I get offered and then decide okay. all right <laughs> another flex uh, which I definitely don't want I can probably take hemokinesis would be good to counteract all the skills I have with a very uh, strong offensive card uh, here is it a, I mean it is a little early but let's take the first curse injury hopefully I'll be able to pick up ways to exhaust it well, actually, I could give it up. I could give up that injury. Um. No, no. Uh, let me give up a not a defend. Let's give up a strike. Okay, just a basic strike. Uh, probably don't need a shop just yet. Let's continue on the question mark rooms, especially since they could give me an elite theoretically. Nineteen. Uh, yeah. Let's kill this guy and then do a strike and then, um, maybe a flex and a strike. Oh, I forgot I'm weakened here, but luckily I got the bash. Okay. Sword Boomerang with all the flexes seems like the, a good, good idea. Okay. All right, well, I had to have a shop. Now, Orange Pellets would have been great because I could have removed the debuff from losing strength. Unfortunately, I am a little bit of gold short, so that, that's not going to work. I'm sort of thinking Anger Shrug It Off. Flex and Anger might be good. I really need more card draw, so I definitely feel like I have to take Shrug It Off. Uh, and then, yeah, let's take the Anger. I think that should work. Okay. Might have considered taking some potions to help with the elites, but yeah, because I don't stand a chance to perfect any elites with my current deck, but yeah, especially this one. Maybe maybe the Grum Knob if I get lucky on turn one, really. That's that's my only hope, I think. So let's kill the backliner and then do a strike. Yeah, not even close, right? I'm losing a lot of HP actually. Okay, flex, shrug it off, and then uh oh, look at that. One turn I can actually fill the defend. Okay, and then here let's do bash. Um, let's do defend and anger, and then I hope I'll be able to kill the backliner next turn. 
We'll just need any decent attack. Yeah, uh, so let's double flex. Strike, strike. Okay. Mm. Oof. Yeah, look at this. This type of turn is very upsetting, of course. All right. Can I kill without the hemokinesis? Um, hang on. Next turn. Uh, well, if I don't draw a defensive card, or if I don't draw a strike, I'll be able to defend fully. Yeah, so there's no reason for me to lose 3 HP. Especially because I have still a lot of other elites coming up. A meal ticket, whenever you enter a shop, heal 15 HP. Reaper is interesting. It would help me a little bit, especially with the extra strength. Final boss is not the Hexaghost. I might still consider going for the um, Popper Mod of her, so let's not take it just yet. Uh, Rupture would be great, but would only trigger with Hemokinesis. But it might be a good investment for the future. Uh, hopefully I'll get a good corresponding curse, so let's take it. All right, Gremlin Knob. Um, yeah, I needed a really good starting hand, and this is not it. I needed a bunch of flex. Well, ideally, I would have three flexes of Bastion Strike. That would have been perfect, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. Okay. And then 21. Uh, well, might as well do Rupture. Um, I, I guess I'll do one Shrug it off, and then try to kill next turn with the Hemokinesis. Uh, hang on, so this is 15 plus 27. Uh, wait, okay, if I do 4 strength, that'll be uh, 27 plus 12. Yeah, that'll be enough, right? So let's do flex, flex, not counting the fact that Hemokinesis gives me extra strength. Alright, definitely didn't perfect that one. We got Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck, that's interesting. So, um, oh, actually, meal ticket is shop, okay. Perfected strike, headbutt, or reckless charge... Yeah, I didn't pick up any strike cards, so perfect the strike might not be that great. Headbutt might be better, I think. And then jumping over to the next elite, sentries again. Shrug it off, uh, flex, sword boomerang. Yeah, again, there's well, uh, I I have an attack potion, but I think I'll keep it for a tr for an elite fight where I actually have a chance. I, I don't think, I mean, even well, it's an attack potion, right? So it would have to kill this guy, which seems very unlikely. I'm a little worried about losing HP. Do might I have to rest? Uh, well, let's see what things get offered. If I get another shop, I'll heal too, right? So, something to consider. Um, all right, next turn I might have enough defensive cards. Uh, do I need to headbutt anything? I could headbutt, uh, shrug it off maybe. Well, let's do headbutt first. Then, um, yeah, let's take the shrug it off just in case, and then just play everything here. All right, flex, shrug it off, and then hemokinesis is 70. Yeah, let's just target this guy. Hmm. Okay, I have extra strength, so a single strike card should kill the frontliner. Yep, good. And then um, hopefully I'll be able to defend. 19 is not a great place to be at with, with your HP. Uh, actually, this early on, on floor 8, yeah. 90s. I mean, generally it's okay, but floor 8 it's not that great. Got blue candle. Nice. Unplayable curse cards cannot be played. Whenever you play a curse, lose 1 HP and exhausted. That will help with the rupture too. So as a speed potion, and I am getting a lot of rare cards offered, but I'll I'll uh, stay strong or stubborn. Uh, let's go with the... Sh Actually, maybe I should take Carnage. I was going to take Shockwave, but Carnage might be good just to have a singular strong attack damage card, which I don't currently have. Got Captain's Will at the start of your third turn, gain 18 block. That makes the Legavulin fight much more attractive. I am seriously considering a shop just because that will heal me too, but I barely have any gold. Maybe I should do a rest side. What would I upgrade? I'm trying to think if I, there's any reason to upgrade the rupture. Not really. Mm. Just a regular fight for another card reward? Sure, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Definitely not the... Sort of standard approach. I should have played headbutt first. Actually, I guess that doesn't matter too much. Let's do headbutt and then strike. Okay. Six incoming. Okay, I can fully defend here. And then next turn, I should be able to be fully defended thanks to Captain's Wheel as well. Actually, I guess in retrospect, it wasn't that bad idea because I basically healed for free. Um, heavy Blade, Cleave, or War Cry. Mm -hmm. Kind of want to take Cleave for AoE. Heavy Blade is good. I guess with the flexus is pretty good. Let's take the heavy blade. Okay. We got Centennial Puzzle. The first time lose HP each combat. Draw three cards. That's very useful. Okay, like a villain. So here I wanna oof. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna lose the Carnage. Do I try to wake him up this turn? You know what? I will just because I don't want to lose the Carnage. Yeah, let's double flex here and then Carnage and Strike. 
And uh, any way I can defend against 18 here. Yeah, it would have been a stretch. Um, let's double flex and then bash, anger, and defend. Okay. Mm, this turn I'm fully defended. Let's do uh, anything I want to headbutt. I guess I can headbutt a Carnage, right? So let's do Hemokinesis, Sword Boomerang, and then headbutt, and then the Carnage would kill next turn. Hmm. Yeah, I do wonder if I could have perfected if I waited. That's fine. We got Toxic Egg, one of you add a skill into deck upgraded. Nice this early on. Wait, am I going for collector bonuses? I sort of have to, right? Unless I can remove a bunch of flexes, which I probably don't need. Um, so should I take another rupture? I make this a rupture deck. I don't think I ever run like a traditional rupture deck. Well, let's take it. Let's let's see what can happen there. Especially because I picked the heavy blade, right? So it might be good to have some more strength. Ooh, okay. Question mark room with an elite. Uh, a little unfortunate, but I can draw things with the injury. I might need the attack potion or the strength potion. One of those two. Let's double flex here first, then do injury. Um, I I sort of feel like I need to use something here. Let me see what the attack potion gives me. Thunderclap might not be as useful as something like Twin Strike, actually. All right, so let's do shrug it off. Kind of want to do rupture, and then I can do anger, Twin Strike. And then, is there any way I can... Actually, I just need to defend next turn, right? So, let me... Hmm. It's going to be rough to perfect, but I think I should give it a try. Yeah, there's actually almost... Well, I still have the um, the speed potion. Fine, so let's, let's give it a try. Okay. Hmm. Fourteen. Uh, yeah, well, if I use the speed potion... I'll be able to... Yeah, fine. Let's let's risk it. All right. Okay. Okay, so I'm fully defended this turn, but then I have lots of turns after after that. Uh, so let me do flex between Carnage and Heavy Blade. Carnage does a little bit more, so let's do Carnage and Hemokinesis. Okay. And then here I can do flex... What are the odds of Swarp Boomerang not hitting the backliner? I have to... Uh, actually, the order doesn't matter. Let's do Swarp Boomerang first. Okay, and then Bash. All right, there is a small chance I might be able to kill next turn. Or full defend, actually. I guess there's a small chance for both. Um, Yeah, perfect. All right, perfect this one. First Elite. We got Gremlin Horn, one of an enemy dice, gain energy and draw one card, as well as a Colors Potion, and I didn't pick up a Cleave, right? I feel like I should, just to have some AoE. Or should I take... No, not... Uh, Anger won't be that useful for the upcoming boss fight. Okay, Grumman Knob. Um, so here, let's do Flex, Rupture, Hemokinesis. Okay. And then, let me keep the Colorless Potion for later. Let's, um, let's do what? Let's, let's, I don't want to do that, but let's do a Strike. Maximize the chance of me being able to draw defensive cards next turn. I do have 14 incoming, though. Let me see what this gives me. Jack will trade Apotheosis Discovery. Not gonna help, unfortunately. Let me take the discovery and see if it gives me some magic defensive card. It didn't. At least I got an uppercut, so that's good. Uh, let's do rupture, uh, uppercut, and carnage. Eh, not that far off. I wonder if the strength potion, strength plus the well, strength potion plus the uh, flex would have helped, but uh, ultimately it's fine. Okay, we got letter opener every time. Play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies, and. Yeah, I'm not sure what I should take here. Let's take the Thunderclap. And then, unfortunately, I think I have to rest here. I am... I mean, there's a small chance I might be able to perfect the boss, but its I think it's more likely I'll die. Let's go with the Pummel. Mostly, I'm worried about dying because I barely have any defensive cards and no potions to help me with defense either, right? So, really worried about that, especially... Okay, now I don't have to shrug it off either. I don't think there's any way I can defend... I don't want to get rid of the injury until I played some of the ruptures. So let's just do Hemokinesis would transform, right? So let's do Cleave. Okay. Then Hemokinesis. And then a little too late for the uh, strike, but uh, yeah, I guess I, I'll wait. Okay. All right. So here the captains will help a little bit. Let's double flex. Then um, between these, uh, so Thunderclap and Carnage will be 36. Thunderclap and Pummel will be uh, 32, right? Um, 
Wait, so the best thing is actually to do uh, Carnage and Pummel without the Thunderclap. Yeah, so let's do Carnage and then Pummel. Come. 16. Yeah, this is what I was worried about, right? There's just no way I can fully defend. Best I can do is 10. This is, this is actually the turn I was worried about. 16. I would need to draw the... Um, what do you call it? The shrug it off plus two defensive cards. That was the only way I could fully defend. And yeah, even look at look at this turn. Nothing I could have done. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Good thing I rested. I could have been dead. Well, hang on, it's not over yet. Um, let's do carnage. I'm not gonna play the anger. I should have done strike first. I'm not gonna play the anger to not have too many of those in my deck. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm dead here. Wow. Yeah, absolutely nothing I can do. I mean, I'm going to reload because uh, I uh, would want to avoid replaying this whole thing. But um, but yeah, I'm not really seeing an easy way out. Let me uh, wonder what I could do. Uh, yeah, let's just try again. See see if there's maybe some small decision here and there that I can make to, to change the RNG. Maybe I should remove the injury. Yeah, you know what? Let me remove the injury and draw a bunch of cards. Okay. So that I can do flex. Uh, heavy blade is 30. No, let's do... Uh, you know what? Fine. Let's do heavy blade. And then maybe I'll avoid playing the hemokinesis. How about that? Okay. Maybe I should also drink the strength potion. So then... <laughs> I know I already died once. So let's try to uh, not have that happen again too often at least. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, here I'll just double defend and rupture. Okay. All right. 20... Yeah, still, still same problem. Okay. At least I have one extra HP here, so I should be fine for that um, upcoming turn. Uh, let's do, yeah, cleave and heavy blade. Okay. But then it's still, th this turn is fine. It's the turn after. Oh, actually, no mind this turn. I can fully defend, all right? But still, yeah, it's the turn after. That's the problem. Yeah, I needed to get the shrug it off, and I didn't. Uh, there's no way I can kill, right? So what do I do? Um, yeah, there's no way, right? Because I only have 15 block. I need 16. Okay, I am going to speed this. Uh, try this again and speed this up and see if there's anything I can do. And ho Well, if I can't, I'll be back. All right, I'm getting closer. The last attempt, I got him down to 5 HP. This attempt, I got him down to 1 HP. Uh, I'll do it one more time. If it doesn't work, it'll probably be faster to just replay the whole thing. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. This is purely cheating because I knew exactly what was going to happen. I played it like 50 times to try to figure it out. But yeah, ultimately, I was able to get it. Basically, I needed to know the future. I needed to know when not to take damage and when to take damage and uh, what I would draw. And by the way, I reloaded so many times the music disappeared as well. So anyway, I got through this in a very cheaty way. I think ultimately, just to do a quick postmortem, ultimately, I ended up with too many offensive cards and not any defensive cards. Basically, I had the basic defense and then one shrug it off. That was the only way for me to defend. And I should have predicted that against the Guardian, I would have need much more defensive cards. Anyway, moving on. So offering is tempting. It's pre-upgraded. It would help with the rupture. Um, it would get rid of the popper modifier. So I'll take it for now and then remove it on Act 3 if I don't see any other good rare cards. And then Sneko Eye. So yesterday it was clear. Well, now it's clear that I should have taken yesterday. Today I don't think it's at... Um, well, I don't think it's close. I, I don't think I should do it. I think I can go with the Black Star instead. Although I guess Relics won't be a problem because of Deadly Events. Should I maybe take Black Blood? Replaces Burning Blood at the end of combat heal 12 HP instead of the 6. Let's take it just because I don't think I need Black Star. Oh, you know what? Black Star is still probably better. Let's take it. 
yeah, why not? Elite Strap and Additional Relic when defeated. That should help. I mean, I should get to 25 Relics fairly easily, but this would help get even more than that. All right, can hit three of the four Elites. Let's get started. Oh, did the music completely disappear? Uh, okay, I do want to fix that, so one second. Okay, music is back. Good. All right, so uh, let's do Shrug it off. Um, yeah, actually, hmm, not having a lot of energy might be a problem. Okay, well, both not having a lot of energy and not having a lot of block. Uh, all right, at least I can double flex before the pummel. That's 24. Um, 24 plus 10 is 34, so any of them will be dead. And then let's do double defend. Okay. Hmm. And here I should have enough block, although I'm not getting attacked. Great. Let's do bash and cleave. All right. Okay, I got an attack potion, Swap Ring, Wild Strike, Second Wind. I mean, if I'm going for collective bonuses, let's go with the... Oh, actually, Second Wind would help with block, but no, let's go with the Swap Ring first. Um, let me not go for a shop yet. I'm sure one of the question mark rooms will be a shop. Ritual Dagger might be really good here. Actually, yeah, I think this is the right, right deck for Ritual Dagger. Very offensive heavy deck. Yes, Pain. Pain is perfect for Rupture. And then the Special Relic is nice too. Warp Tongues at the start of your turn. Upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat. Okay. All right, Book of Stabbing in the question mark room. And unfortunately, I got a very early Ritual Dagger that I can't really use. And um, I will use it here because I'm just a little worried. I mean, obviously, it doesn't do anything. But yeah, mostly, I don't think that I really have a good chance of perfecting this one. Double Flex Rupture Offering. Okay. Flex again. Then Thunderclap. Hemokinesis. And that'll give me plenty of strength to kill with, yeah, almost just one Swap I had to use two. We got Courier. Very nice. The Merchant restarts cards, relics, and potions. And all prices are reduced by 20%. So as a birth face earn, whenever you play a power card, heal 2 HP. I don't think I need an upgraded flex. I don't want the others, but let's take the shockwave. The vulnerability and weakness might help. So, yeah, let's do a shop here, especially now that I have courier. Can try to go for collector bonuses. So, upgraded armaments and burning pack. Ooh, shrug it off is definitely good. Let's take the burning pact. I don't really don't want another flex. Let's take the anger just for a potential collector bonus. Yep, that, that is a collector bonus right there, right? I had one and I picked up three. Awesome. I can do another head, but uh, I think I won't take anything else, though. Maybe a block potion, and then that's it. Okay. All right. Second elite, Grimmon leader. Everybody's attacking me, though. Um, let's see what the pain gives me. Okay. So let's get rid of that. I do have a block potion. I just don't think that will help in any way. Let's do... Uh, hang on. Cleave is only 10. So I have to do Thunderclap, then Cleave. At least that draws me two cards with the uh, Grimmon horn. So I have 10 block. How can well I guess I can use the block potion. Do I want to? I mean, yeah, probably. Alright, let's use the block potion. So then I still need to play two defense. And then uh let's do sword boomerang. Hang on, that's 21 versus 25. Let's do sword boomerang. I don't take any damage that way. Hmm. This guy's summoning. Let's see what this gives me. Um probably don't need the injury. Let's just play all of these. I guess I can get rid of the injury, too. Mm -hmm. Alright, this turn I'm fully defended. Uh, let's do Flex. Burning Pact. The Bash. Let's hope I get something better. Uh, Ritual Dagger. Unfortunately, it's not going to be useful here either. Unless I also drink the um, Attack Potion. 19. No, the Attack Potion would have to give me something that deals more than uh, 30 damage, right? So... Maybe, well, let's still drink it. Yeah, fine. Cleave is good. Let's do cleave. Okay, then headbutt. Uh, what would I headbutt? Um, not not a not a flex, right? It'll be uh, thunderclap. Sword boomerang. How much strength do I have? Yeah, four. Yeah, fine. Let's do sword boomerang. Okay, and then twenty one plus nineteen is unfortunately. Wait, is that enough? No, so close though. Ah. Uh, it's going to be a... a mm. And the Ritual Dagger is upgraded too, right? Let me headbutt. Um, I'll try to see if there's a way I can somehow reshuffle my deck quickly to get back to Ritual Dagger, but that seems very unlikely. So let's do Rupture, Burning Pact, get rid of this, and then... I Do I want to do Offering? You know what? I should risk it, yeah. And then I'll wait. Okay. There's a small chance I might get back to that Ritual Dagger. Uh, let's... Oh, Swarpermang might kill. Let's do Pummel first. Okay. 
then anger is not enough. Uh, actually, I can double defend, though, and then rupture. Okay. Hmm. Backbone is still not attacking, and I did get a ritual dagger. Good. Okay, at least that was some good news there. Okay, we got the boot. Whenever you do, whenever you would deal four or less unlocked attack damage, increase it to five. And ceramic fish. Whenever you add a card to deck, gain nine gold. That's good. Thunderclap, Iron Wave, Clothesline. I wouldn't mind Iron Wave just for block. I know I have a copy of Thunderclap already, but let's make sure I have some defense. All right, Book of Stabbing. Uh, again, just an opening hand with no defensive capabilities, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? Uh, let's do Headbutt and Anger. Mm -hmm. All right, 18. Uh, so let's do Flex, Thunderclap, Iron Wave, and Pummel. Or, yeah, only 24 damage, but again, better than nothing. Hmm. 21. I'm almost fully defended here. Unfortunately. Oh, I have Rupture active, right? Yeah, so can I use Ritual Dagger somehow? I don't think so. Let's do Headbutt. Um, maybe put, I don't know, Iron Wave back? Sure. Then Strike 1, Strike 2. Yeah. If there's a way for me, maybe. Oh, actually, I. Wait. I didn't put a Headbutt back. Never mind. I thought I put a Headbutt back. Head. But back. That that would have allowed me to get the ritual dagger back. It's fine. It's fine. We got Pendip. Every tenth attack you play deals double damage, as well as bag of marbles. At these average combat to play one vulnerable tall enemies. That's good. And then let's go for a second iron wave here. Okay. Alright, just got regular birds here. Uh let me get rid of the pain, see what that gives me. Okay. Triple flex. Then um I can do shrug it off to be fully defended. Swarp boomerang. No, that hit them all equally, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, at least I can kill one of them, so that's good. And then... Okay, kill another one. Uh, ooh, wait, maybe... Let me see if I can get through the Ritual Dagger. Might be worth it. So I'll do... Let's get this guy to the ground. Okay, I have to be careful not to kill. Never mind. I killed. All right, another Shrug it off, definitely. Ooh, actually, Rage is really good here. Let's take the Rage just because I have so many attacks already. Red Skull, while your HP is at or below 50%, you have three additional strength. I will try to make that trigger as often as I can. All right, Centurion. Now that's one of the places where I do want to trigger. Let's do Cleave, Sword Boomerang, and Iron Wave. Okay. Hmm. All right, so yeah, now it should trigger, although uh, it will stop triggering after I heal at the end of this fight. So let's see if I can keep... Okay, no mind. I am going to keep it going. Or no, you know what? Let's. I don't want to lose that much HP. And uh, let me make sure I don't accidentally kill. But yeah, let's do headbutt here and just defend. Um, so I should also point out, I have to be a little careful. To, uh, I don't accidentally kill with the letter. Of I, I guess this I heals himself, right? So it's not really a big issue. Let's do armaments and then... Oh, no, not pummel. Let's do headbutt. Uh, still have the ritual dagger, right? Um, I guess I'll do another armaments. Heat hmm. incoming. Uh, let me get rid of the pain. Yep. And then I'll do armaments. Unfortunately, I am going to take some damage there, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, let's do Rupture, Shrug it off, and Double Flex. Uh, actually, is there a reason to do Injury? No, I think this is fine. Uh, okay, there is a Ritual Dagger, right? It's, of course, at the bottom of my deck, which is fine. Double Flex, Defend, and then Anger. Okay. Have to be careful not to kill again accidentally. Eight. Ah, oh, come on. It's literally at the bottom, right? Let's do Shockwave, Defend, and... Oh, I can't do Rupture then. Fine. Hmm. Ritual Dagger. Fine. Okay. Sword Boomerang, Metal says Anger. Metal says useful. I already have enough Anger, so let's take, I think, my second Sword Boomerang. Oh, third. Third. Okay. All right. Taskmaster and the Slavers. Uh, at least I have an offering, opening hand offering. That's really good. Uh, because I'm going to draw a lot of it, let's do the Flex first, then the offering. That gets me a full hand. Then I can do Armaments to upgrade everything. Rage is already upgraded, so that's good. Let's do Thunderclap. Um, I can kill somebody right here. Yeah, 37. Actually, wait. I can kill multiple things here. Um, let's do Hemokinesis first, see what I get. Okay. Then I can do Anger and just a regular Strike. And then a double damage Strike to kill. Oh, no, no, wait. Ah, I should wait to Ritual Dagger again. 
Yeah, yeah, fine. Actually, well, almost everything I'll play will kill here, so I have to be really careful. Yeah, fine, I'll wait. Leaving him with a little too much HP, though, but... Well, the hope is either I can kill or... Yeah, I can kill with the Carnage, right? So let's see if I can get Ritual Dagger. Uh, well, if I wasn't able to get Ritual Dagger, I was hoping to defend, but no, I have to kill. We got Ancient T set, whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combo with two extra energy. And bronze skills, um, start each combo with three thorns. I might actually need the blood potion more than the smoke bomb. Let's take that and drink it soon. And then I should get another thunderclap. Yeah, it's my second. Dropkick would have been fine, but yeah. Okay, we got Art of War. If you do not play any attacks in your turn, get additional energy next turn. All right. And another Book of Stabbing Fight. Okay. I was going to say at least this time I can defend. No, no. One of the uh, one of the defense would have to get upgraded, and that didn't happen. Uh, so let's just do defend, defend, and then Swap Ring. I'm also going to drink the Blood Potion. Okay. Can't do it now. Have to do it here. All right. So 18. I don't think I'll do Rupture here. Um, I Well, actually, Shockwave is nice just for the weakness. But no, no, I think I'll just do attack. So Thunderclap, Sword Boomerang, and then Pummel. Okay. Oh, look at that. The uh, boot is actually helping quite a lot. Hmm. 21. Almost fully defended here. Let's see what the offering gives me. Um, another Flex. And then uh, Carnage, Angers, and uh, Iron Wave. Okay, Happy Flower, every three turns get extra energy, and Kunai, every time you play three attacks on a single turn, gain one dexterity. That's actually huge. I do play a lot of attacks. Feel No Pain. I am worried I don't exhaust enough for Feel No Pain to be worth it, so let's go with the Infernal Blade instead. Okay. Alright, got the Cultist here. Let's start with Rupture, Thunderclap, then Offering. Draws me a full hand. Then double damage, uh, Swap Rank. Let me first see what the Infernal Blade gives me. But yeah, it's not super useful. Let's go, yeah, double damage in a Swap Rank. Okay. And then I can... I should have upgraded everything, right? I guess I didn't have to, but I could have. Let's see what this gives me. All right. And then let's do... Um, Armaments Headbutt. And I'm going to do that just for the hope that I might be able to get the uh, Ritual Dagger. And then uh, I guess I can get rid of the injury, right? All right. Okay, I probably could, should have killed. No, that's fine. That's fine. Shouldn't overthink things. Uh, let's do Iron Wave. That allows me to be fully defended. And I think I'll wait at least two more turns for. Wait, does this kill? It almost kills. Yeah, fine. Let's do it. So yeah. Oh, thorns! I forgot about the thorns. Ah. Uh, Got an energy potion or another energy potion. I don't think I'll go for another offering because I am trying to go for Popper. Uh, let's go for a Cleave, though. Okay. All right. So first time I can actually upgrade something. I should upgrade the Ritual Dagger just so I'm more likely to... Uh, well, I'm hoping I can make it more useful. Doesn't look like to be the case currently, but... All right. Uh, let's just play everything here with the... I should have drank the uh, uh, Strength Potion, actually. I am wondering if I should play the Angers just because I already have a lot. And once I reshuffle, my deck will be filled with Angers, but fine. Okay. Right, yeah. See, again, getting Ritual Dagger. Uh, although I do have double damage active, so it's a good chunk of damage, but... Yeah. So I think I'm going to use Carnage. And... Actually, here, let's do Ritual Dagger. Well, let's do Carnage first. Let's see what I draw. Then I'm going to drink the uh, energy potion, do Thunderclap, the Ritual Dagger. And then I was really hoping for another. Actually, never mind. Defend is enough. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's do Defend. I'll do Rupture and then Anger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, so I defended fully that turn, right? Good. So let me get rid of this. And then um, what can I headbutt? I'm a little worried about getting attacked next turn, so maybe I'll headbutt a Shrug it off. Okay. And then just do Sword Boomerang twice. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not getting attacked. That's good. I can do Strike, Anger, Sword Boomerang. Again, trying to trigger the Kunai as often as I can. Okay. I do have double damage. So let's do Flex, Double, uh, or Double Flex, and then Shockwave. And then, yeah, 54. It's not a lot, but, you know, it's a good amount. Mm -hmm. 27. 
Um, so 11 plus 6 is only 17. Very low chance of being able to draw a defense. Actually, yeah, almost zero chance. If I do headbutt and then shrug it off, yeah, I could pull that off. Let's do headbutt the um, another shrug it off. Yeah, I think that would be fine. So headbutt, shrug it off down here. And then sh uh, I should do flex first, shrug it off one, shrug it off two, and then drink the energy potion to do flex armament. I should have done the armaments first, of course. Oh, that was almost enough to kill. And then the thorns. No, thorns are not enough yet. Can I get the ritual dagger? Would that be hilarious? Wait, did I? Oh, I already played it. Oh, okay, fine. I had to use it to be able to perfect, so I think it's appropriate. All right, perfect this one. Bean fire barricade limit break. Ah, oh, that's so tempting. Okay, you know what? Just because I already pretty much died on this um, in this fight. On act one, I mean. Fine, let's give up popper and let's go with the limit break. I, it's I can't really give up an upgraded limit break in a in a flex run. So Pandora's box is interesting, but might be problematic. I really wish I had extra energy. I can't take the Runic Dome. Probably don't need Empty Cage. Let's reluctantly go with the Pandora's box. Up and pick up, transform all strikes and defense. Because I'm not going for Popper or Highlander anymore. I think this should be fine. Okay, look at that. Feed, Rage. I basically don't have any block cards anymore, except for another Rage. That might be a problem. Okay. All right, Dern and Decca at the end. So, one, two, three. Only three elites on this act. Unfortunately, all three of these are on the same floor, so I have to choose. Come. Okay. Everybody's attacking me. Great. And yes, as, as I mentioned, I don't have any defensive cards anymore. Uh, let's do anger and headbutt. And I'll put a shrug it off back. Come. Okay. Okay. All right, so there's an offering there. That's good. Uh, let me see what I can do here first. Let's upgrade. Well, let me see what this gives me. Okay, upgrade everything. Then uh, pummel will be 25 damage. That kills one of these. Okay. Then flex uppercut and uh, sword boomerang. Okay. And then double damage from boomerang to kill the other one. Actually, well, no, again, I should wait for the ritual dagger, right? I'm being a little too uh, too confident here. But then, of course, I'm not never getting a Ritual Dagger, so... At least if I'm not getting a Ritual Dagger, let's use a Feed. Okay. Feel No Pain, Perfected Strike, fire, a fire Breathing. I don't think I have enough Curses or Sass. So let's go with the Feel No Pain now, sure. Okay. Um, yeah, let's buy all three potions here. I have the slots, and it's also very cheap. Okay, Nemesis. Uh, let me see what the uh, injury will draw me first. Okay. Then let's do Burning Pact. Hmm, what exactly? One of the, Oh, actually, wait. I have to pull a defend. I almost missed that. I have 16. Let's do th Seeing Red. Then Thunderclap. Demokinesis. Then I'll do Burning Pact. The unupgraded Shrug it off. And I hope that's not going to be a mistake. Yeah, it's not a mistake because I can do Anger. Uh, let's do Shrug it off. Oh, no. But yeah, no. Now it's not enough block. Right. Okay, let's do Rupture Offering. Alright, this is becoming a good turn one. Okay, maybe maybe not that much. Uh, let's do Brutality Heavy Blade for 25. Yeah, for some reason I thought I had way more strength than I already do. And then um, Ritual Dagger. It's going to be very hard to use this for the next fight. Let's also do Whirlwind for extra decks. I didn't take damage here, right? Yeah. Let's do Double Flex. And then I might as well do Juggernaut. And uh, here, let's do Iron Wave. Okay. I maybe should have considered the Thunderclap just to uh, make sure that the enemy is vulnerable this turn. Can I use Feed here? I think that's theoretically possible. Let's do Thunderclap, Anger. Then Pummel. Oh, double damage. Wait. Uh, yeah, let's do, use the Feed here. Got Blood Vial. At the Savage Combat, heal 2 HP. As well as Lantern. A Savage Combat with two, uh, 1 additional energy. A Liquid Bronze, which I don't think I'll take. And another Thunderclap. Okay. Alright, got the Reptomancer here. Let's do Flex. Um, I do have the extra energy, right? So let's do Rupture, Thunderclap. Then Hemokinesis kills one of them. And then I can do Flex again and Headbutt the other. Let's do another Flex. Make the Pummel stronger that way. Flex one more time, then Pummel. 60 damage and Heavy Blade for 57. Not a bad start. 
Black Lamp's not, or uh, the Reptomancer's not attacking. That's good. Uh, let's do Seeing Red, shrug it off. And then, uh, yeah, I have the Ruptures out, right? So let's do Sword Boomerang first. Okay. And then Infernal Blade, Heavy Blade. Yeah, it's enough to kill. Wait, can I kill here? No. Uh, let me do this, and then still can't kill. I guess, well, I'll play the feed, and now I'll hope that I use the uh, Ritual Dagger. So I'm getting attacked here. I need to kill, and of course I didn't. Oh, wait. No, good. Oh, good. Good. I had an anger. Otherwise, I would have really big trouble there. We got Oddly Smooth Stone. Starch comes with one dexterity. And Mido in the bone. If your HP is at or below 50% at the end of combat, heal 12 HP. That's actually that's actually pretty good. Although, I do want to drop down to... Well, so, okay. Maybe I should not have taken the uh, Mido on the bone. Because now it's going to conflict with the Red Skull. Which is probably okay. Another True Good or another Pummel? I think I have one Pummel and two... Not True Good, sorry. Shrug it off is, is what I mean. Uh, let's take another Shrug it off because I need more block. And then, wait, do I have a shop later on? Uh, yeah, I could go for a shop here. I don't have to go for the shop here. Especially because I have career, I definitely don't need to go to a shop. Okay, another lead in the question mark room. Uh, let's see what the uh, pain gives me. Yeah, I should have kept that pain. Could have gotten a lot of strength with the rupture. So rupture, infernal blade. Carnage is good. Then hemokinesis, double damage. Sure. Okay. Headbutt. I can do... Well, next turn I don't need the block. Fine, let's do Carnage. And then Feel No Pain. I don't think I'll do the... Okay, fine. I'll do the other headbutt to get another headbutt back. Okay. 18. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have put so many attack cards um, in my draw hand since now that means I don't have any defensive cards. Yeah, fine. Not much I can do about that. Uh, let's try to kill next turn though, so... Forty-five. Uh, let's see if I do pummel or boomerang. Yeah, that's enough. Good. Okay, but before I take the bottle tornado, let's take pair up. Big up razor max should be by ten, as well as anger reaper power through. Let's take the power through. Bottle tornado would just be one of the ruptures. I don't think I need that in my opening hand. And I also don't need relics, so let's skip this one. Yeah. Alright, Reptomancer, double damage, Thunderclap. I really hope there will be more. Although with vulnerability, instead of 14, it'll be 21. I'll we'll kill one of them. Okay. And then Infernal Blade. Um, let's do Seeing Red and Injury. And then, oh, I don't have any strength for a limit break to be worth it. That's unfortunate. Let's do Iron Wave, see what I get. Okay, then Uppercut, Hemokinesis, Bash, and Heavy Blade, and might as well do Juggernaut. Okay. okay 39. Uh, let's do Thunderclap, and then Headbutt. Uh, what, though? Headbutt Weakness with Uppercut, or Iron Wave for a little bit extra block? Yeah, I think it has to be Iron Wave, so let's do Sword Boomerang and Iron Wave. And let's as well do the Brutality. Okay. Alright, well, I don't have a Rupture out, so let's get rid of the Pain. And then Rage, Shrug it off. And uh, I guess I'll do uh, Armaments and the Upgraded Sword Boomerang. Yeah, that's enough to kill. Okay, we got Vastra, so I just come with one strength. And Duvidal for each cursion index, so I just come with one strength as well. So I am currently up to two strength. That's honestly a little disappointing. It is still Chaos Potions and another Armaments. Yeah, that'll be my second one. Okay. All right, Old Mokra. 15. Uh, let's start with Seeing Red, Thunderclap. I should have done Shockwave first. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter. Both Line and Anger. Okay. 13, double flex. Um, can I kill here without doing the offering? Yeah, that's pummel is enough, but can I save up for either a feed? Oh, that's really close. So yeah, let me just do iron wave and then feed. If I can't use the ritual dagger, might as well get some extra HP out of this. This arm would be great. I True good is nice too, but this arm would be a huge help. Okay. Giant head. So let's do flex first, see what I get. Okay, then get rid of the pain. Drag it off. Okay, well, unfortunately, this is uh, not the defensive hand I was hoping for. Let's get rid of the anger. 
Uh, sorry, I mean, it's not an offensive hint of what I was hoping for. Thunderclap. Um, let's do... Sp Wait, no, actually, I can't do Swap Boomerang last. Let me see what this gives me. Um, headbutt. Let's put a shrug it off back. Iron Wave and Flex. Okay. So then, if I do something like Rage and Swap Boomerang, that's a lot of damage. Okay. All right. That definitely helped. And here, I think I should be able to kill with uh, Heavy Blade. Good, good. All right, perfect this one, actually. We got Omori, negate the next two cures to obtain. I can't take this, as well as Regal Pillow. One of you rests in additional 15 HP. A regen potion, which I'll try to use quickly, and then let's take a second power throw. Okay. We got Molten Egg. One of you add an attack into a deck upgraded. A little too late, but I'll accept it. And then this was the last shop, right? Yeah, fine. So let's try to spend all of my... What is that? Almost a thousand gold. Oh, this is great. Preserved insect enemies in elite combats have twenty five percent less HP. Probably don't think I need bottle flame. Although I guess hemokinesis would guarantee that I can draw things. So let's take the bottle flame and pick up. Um, choose an attack. So I should come with this guy in your hand. So let's make that the um, hemokinesis. Where is it? Right here. Okay. All right, uh, probably don't need least waffle. Let's hope I can... Actually, there's still a lot of message I need to do, but no, let's go with another shrug it off. Ghostly armor is good. True grit is fine. Yeah, it's impervious. I don't really have use for it. Let's take the dramatic entrance. Okay, I was really hoping to spend all of my gold, but I guess if I can, let's... Yeah, let's take the impervious. Another disarm is good. Double tab, why not? Another true grit. And how many shrug it offs am I up to now? Oh, that's already four. Okay. So I don't think I need another one. Let's take Intimidate, True Grid again. And I think that's it. I definitely don't want Searing Blow. Maybe a potion. Yeah, it's, I think it's fine. I'm happy with what I have. Okay. All right, Nemesis fight. I'm getting a lot of elites here. Just need to perfect them all. Um, all right, so let's do Phenopene, Drag Entrance, then Hemokinesis. Okay. And then shrug it off. That's 16. And I can fully defend while applying vulnerability. Good. Hmm. Alright, 18. This arm is great here. Let's do flex this arm intimidate. So that brings it down to um, 6, which I am fully defended against. So let's do headbutt. And I will headbutt maybe a rage. Yeah, in case I get attacked, that'll be my best way to defend. Hmm. I am not getting attacked. Good. So let's do Shrug It Off as a Ritual Dagger, which again, I have been sort of neglecting. So I'll do Thunderclap, Iron Wave, and unfortunately Ritual Dagger, the most I can do. Oh, it's exactly enough. Perfect. Or at least I got an upgrade out of that. We got War Paint. I'm pick up, gain, uh, upgrade two random skills, and then seeing top one. If you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. A Strength Potion, and let's go. I already have enough Shrug It Off. Let's go with the Iron Wave and War Paint upgrades to Flexus. Good. Alright, giant head again. Let's see if I can do the uh, overcome modifier here. Let's do rupture offering after I played the dramatic entrance. Well, I still haven't gotten overkill, right? So I might wonder if I should try doing that, especially with the slow debuff. Let's do disarm rage. Okay. So heavy blade is up to 109. Yeah, that's already um, overkill. Let's do it. Okay. Dramatic entrance and then. Um, what else? Maybe another Thunderclap, and I will use the feet just because I don't think this fight will drag on for that long that I'll reshuffle my discard deck. Okay, 10 incoming. So, Rage, Feel No Pain, Disarm. Okay, and then, yeah, let's just do Shrug It Off. Okay. All right, fully defended here, and of course not getting attacked because of it. Well, not because of it, but... Okay, I guess it doesn't really make sense to double tap an iron with eh, also it's it's fine. Okay. And let's maybe do one shrug it off and that's fine. Okay. Alright, so here let's see what this gives me. Headbutt, let's upgrade everything, then do swoop boomerang and uh, anger anything. Well, this is double damage. I guess I can headbutt the um corpse and uh, not corpse explosion. Um the Carnage, which I must have lost or ex uh, exhausted. So let's take the Heavy Blade next. Basically, I need something to kill next turn. Uh, Ritual Dagger would actually work perfectly. Good. 
Got Horn Cleat at the start of your second turn, gain 14 block, very useful. And Mob Bank, whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold, no more works when you spend any gold at a shop. As well as an explosive potion, which I don't think I'll take. And uh, wait, how many? I was going to say Flame Barrier, but how many Sword Boomerangs do I have? I have three. Okay, I have to get a collect bonus for Sword Boomerang first. Um, okay. Um, well, this could give me curse number three. Very unlikely to become very useful. Uh, I don't want to lose max HP either, so let's take the Madnesses. And then here I got Paper Frog. Enemy to Vulnerable take 75% more damage rather than 50. Very useful. Okay. And then last upgrade should be... You know what? Let's do the Whirlwind upgrade. Also, I realize I haven't seen Fiendfire in a single time, I think, since I picked it up. Okay, so uh, let's start with Dramatic Entrance. Okay, I should have drank the uh, this potion first. And then the fact that I don't have any block cards, so let's get rid of all of these. Maybe I'll keep the Hemo... Actually, that uh, was a mistake. I can't undo this, right? Well, I got an Impervious. Did I always have an Impervious in my deck? Let's do Fleximuknesis. Mm -hmm. Then Thunderclap Offering. Alright. Then Armaments... Feel no pain. Rage. Uh, not rage. Limit break, then rage. Okay. Iron wave one, iron wave two. I actually don't even need the impervious. Should have done the bash first. Okay. 26. Um, so I was going to say I have double damage active, but no. So this will be 24. I need a little bit. Actually, with armaments, it'll be enough, right? So let's do armaments, then iron wave. And then madness to make the juggernaut free. Okay. 26, double flex and disarm. Then shrug it off. Uh, wait, I'm fully defender already. Okay, so then let's do headbutt. And I'll probably put the limit break back to make it a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah, 32 strength is a lot now. Um, let me see if... Well, actually, I got the Eureka modifier already. And here I can just do pummel. Okay. Yeah, that was that was rough. I had to reload so many times, and even with that, I still missed the Act Two boss. So fifteen sixty eight, actually Act, Act One and Act Two boss. Just look at how many rel uh, how many elites though. So out of eighteen elites, I perfected only seven. Perfected. Oh wait, I got the Act Two. Oh yeah, I did get lucky against Act Two. Okay, so it was just the Act One boss that I not just didn't perfect, but also died to multiple times. Got Mr. Machine, money, money, five collector bonuses, which is fine. Not too bad, not too shabby. And then, uh, yeah, I did get overkill, but um, I like shiny would have been, not I like shiny, I did get that. Combo would have been theoretically possible, but very difficult. Let's see where the standard rankings. And again, this is a cheating score. I should disclose that. Um, uh, not even, well, okay, no, my 21st. I was going to say not even close, but no, I'm literally one, one spot below. But yeah, so Vorpal has exactly... No, not exactly. Oh, that's weird. 89, 69. So that's 21 points more. But I suspect that means I went for more regular fights, which is definitely true. Maybe especially towards the end. And then Sita got another... Oh, that's that's a big gap. So Sita got another about 75 points more. I suspect it's just perfecting more bosses. That could be it. And I do think... Well, if, if I perfected the... Um, Act two, Act three, boss, and uh, Act one, boss. Sorry, actually, I mean, I don't want to say that because it's it was so difficult to even get through this. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you did. I I do suspect that if somebody perfected way more elites, they would be much higher up. So I suspect a lot of people weren't able to either perfect elites or bosses. But anyway, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.